person purchase the set of candles. Then we place one of the candles in the freezer and let it sit for 24 hours and let the other one sit at room temperature. After 24 hours, we each took our now frozen candle and the candle that has been sitting at room temperature and set their wicks ablaze. Then we waited. We waited for 30 minutes. We waited for an hour. We waited for two hours. We waited for three hours. And then we agreed. That's enough. Here's our results. In Doug's experiment, the room temperature candle lasts one minute and 12 seconds longer than the frozen candle, with both candles melting into wax puddles. In Ebony's experiment, the frozen candle and the room temperature candle burned at almost identical rates. By the time she blew out the candles, the frozen candle was standing at 5 and 5 sixteenths of an inch, while the room temperature stood at 5 and 1 fourth of an inch. Finally, in Alwar's experiment, the frozen candle burned at a much slower rate than the candle at room temperature. When they were measured, the frozen candle stood 6 inches and the room temperature candle stood 5 and a half inches tall. So what does this mean? Well, this might suggest that freezing candles doesn't have a significant impact on the burn rate of candles. After doing a little bit of research, we learned that the difference in temperature between your room and the freezer may not be as significant as one might believe. This may be the reason why a frozen candle may return to room temperature quicker than one might expect. But this led us to wonder, what role did height play in all of this? What about color? We only use white candles. What about other material? All candles aren't made of the same stuff. And that leads to another question. What is a candle anyway? 